So you know when you have text and buttons within a column and the text has various sentences and the button, you want to all align the buttons at the bottom? I think I've got a fix. So I'm going to, um, let's see, create three columns, take out three, because I don't need six, I just need three. Okay, and I'm going to drop an image in, I'm going to drop a uh, text editor in, and I'm going to drop a button in. All right, and then I'll just duplicate, duplicate, and then just delete these other two. You know, it's one half dozen of the other. There it is. Okay. And let's go into this text and let's just mm, take this much out and do that. And then that one, and that we'll just have one line of text on this one. Mm -hmm. Just one line of text, period. Okay. So we got our buttons all janky and it's, mm, what can we do? Well, let's see if we go to the container and we edit the container and let's mess with the justify content. Well, it already defaults to the start position. So if we go to center, the, the um, image is not aligned. If we go to end, it makes the image worse. If we go space between, well, then the text is not aligning with the other text and space around is bad, and space evenly is even worse. So what is a person to do in order to get and force the button to the bottom of the container, not unlike this middle container where I've got the most text? Hold on to your seats, here it comes. Come to your paragraph text or your text editor and go to the advanced tab. And in the advanced tab, I want you to hit the grow button. Oh, but it grows to fill the space. If we go to this paragraph over here and go to advanced and press the grow button on the text. Oh, but it pushes the button to the bottom of the container. Oh, let us sing happy day. Right? Right? Uh, you're happy? I'm happy too. Well, let's say we wanted to do that in a, um, a loop grid. Well, let's give that a try. We've got all of our blog posts here and they have different sized excerpts. Okay. So one would think that in a loop grid, all we would have to do is we did it here, there. So so let's give it a try. Let's edit the template. Let's edit the post excerpt. Let's go to advanced and let's go to size grow. We're going to hit update and we're going to hit save and back. But alas, it doesn't work, boys and girls. Alas, it does not work. Let's just double check and see the rendered page. Because, you know, sometimes it, Elementor doesn't really transcribe it. And so we need to check it in the browser. But alas, boys and girls, no, no, no. No, 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 no. The grow feature that works in a plain container does not work in a loop grid. Have I um, already given this to, you know, Elementor, GitHub, and said feature request, uh, make the grow feature work on the excerpt in a loop grid? Oh, but yes, I have. And I've given them a video of this very explanation. So, doesn't work in a loop grid, hoping at one point in time they'll make that work. But if you're not doing anything dynamic, you can make the text align by using the grow feature on 
the text editor widget.